What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a simple sketch illustration of Spider-Man. Let's begin today's lesson by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. Let's start from the very top. I'm just gonna lightly pull the pencil down towards us. I'm just using these short lines to create this line. Let's go to the top of our page and draw a line going across from left to right. So we'll start with the left side, then extend that out towards the right. Now I'm going to use these guidelines to help us create a circle. Now the further from the center we go, the larger the circle will be. So from the center, let's start with the top. We're just going to mark this off. And then we'll take that same distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Now we're going to do the same thing across this horizontal line, taking the same distance over towards the left and then the right. Now we're going to use each of these marks to create our circle. Let's connect the top to the left side with a curve. Just going all the way around and then connecting each of the sides. Now the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get the right size. And then go back and just readjust the shape, just smoothing this out. Now from here, we're going to go out to the side of a circle and sketch another line coming all the way down. Now from here, we're going to add a gap in between the eyes. From the center line at the bottom of our circle, let's move over toward the left. I'm just going to mark this off. Go to the right with that same distance and do the same thing. Now let's draw the top edge of the eye. From the left side of our circle, we're going to step up. We're going to add a curve coming down and then in towards this mark. Then it's down and then in. Now let's line up the top over on the right and do the same thing. Coming down and then in. Let's add another guideline going across the bottom of our circle. So we'll start with the left and right side. Now right where the eye line meets that center line, we're just gonna curve the bottom of the eye, going out, and then just bend that in towards that bottom line. And then we'll round out the bottom of the eye, coming down and then bending that up. Now let's go in and trace the inside of the eye. From this point, let's step out. It's gonna follow that same curve, going out and then up. And let's do the same thing on the right. Let's trace out the bottom of the eye, coming down and rounding out the bottom. Now we're gonna go back and add a little bit more shape to the top of the eye. Let's go halfway between the outside and the inside. So right here, it's gonna bend this in, just raising up a little bit higher, and then bending that back down on the inside. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now I also wanna do the same thing along the inside of the eye. Just bending that up and then out. Now from here, we're gonna work our way down towards the chin. From that center line, let's step down. Just gonna mark off the edge of the nose, going out to the left and right. From the center point, let's step out. Just gonna angle down and then in. From the tip of the nose, let's step all the way down, add another line going across from left to right, across the bottom of the chin. Now we move back out to the outside of this eye line, just curve the jaw coming down, and then bending that in. Let's round out the chin with a slight curve. Now we're gonna place the shoulders along that nose line. Starting on the left, curve this down, and bend that out. Now with a rough sketch in place, let's go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now that we have a clean sketch, let's move to the tip of our pencil and just trace the outside of the eye. Let's start from the very top. Now we're just going to darken up that line and refine the shape as we go.
I'm just gonna darken up the left side of the eye and just fade that in. And do the same thing for the inside. Just wanna give this eye a mirrored look. A little bit of detail to that reflection. Just drawing a point in the center and just filling that in. I'm just adding a little bit of contrast to that glare. Now I'm going to darken up the inside of that eye trim and then just gradually fade that out. Start to blend this out about halfway. So I'm going to move over and do the same thing on the right. And just starting that blend about halfway. Now let's go back and trace the outside contour of the head. Now we're gonna go and just add a light shade to the entire head and shoulder area. Just using the side edge of our pencil. And this will also help us remove some of those guidelines. I'm just going to darken up that shadow on the left side of the head and just blend that in. I'm just going underneath the eye. I'm just adding a little bit of a darker shadow in the center of the forehead and then just creating a highlight in the middle. I'm just going to darken up that upside down triangle around the nose and just fade that out.
I'm gonna go back to the tip of my pencil and just refine that shadow. Now the head's gonna cast a shadow on top of the body. It's gonna start off dark along the top and just fade that down. Now once we have our shading in place, we'll go back and start adding in the lines. Start with that center line coming down the center of the head, down towards the brow. I'm just gonna go in between that center line and the side and add another line. And we're just curving those bottom lines to add some shape to the head. Just rounding this out along the chin. Now, now going back and just adding the webs going across.
And I'm just working those webs across the body. back and just clean up our shadows. Now as we get near the end, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Spider-Man. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.